What is that? Well, that is kind of interesting. Uh, the car is driving, as you can tell, but it shows that I'm in park and that something is open. I don't know if that means frunk is open. No, because there would be a different kind of alert. But uh, yeah, this is after getting the trailer hitch installed. So hopefully they didn't bugger up something. Interesting though, maybe when I uh, actually park the beast and start driving, it'll clear itself. Update later. All right, so just arrived home. This right here, which I thought was maybe the, the frunk, is that's the, the image of the vehicle when placed in park. So usually that's the headlights and the hood, and it usually comes down right here. So let's put it in park. Let's see how it got into that. And the same there. Let's go into reverse. So it does... Oh, look at that. As soon as I put it in reverse, the speedometer does have come up. In park. There you go. Fixed. Thanks, Elon. All it took was uh, to go into reverse. All right. These cars, I tell you, mind of their own. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to beautiful British Columbia. As you can tell by that opener, I got me a trailer hitch installed and I decided to go with Tesla. Let's take a look. There she is. Well, you can't really see very much, but she is in there. And uh, this is the plastic cover that comes off. Now, I was watching a video from, uh, it's not like Tesla, Tesla Living, Tesla Life, Tesla Guy. Uh, has the word Tesla in it. Anyway, so he said that this is a real bastard to get off. And um, so what he's done is taken off a number of those clips. So as you can tell here, removed, 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 and removed. And my hopes are is that now that'll be a lot easier to take off. So there it is. So it does have the seven pin adapter right beside, right here. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed that's a bit of a bugger is that the for the safety chains, the hooks are, I don't know if you can tell, but they're, they're right up in here. So what I'm probably going to do is get some uh, rings and place them down here so it's a lot easier to clip in. This is rated for 3,000 pounds. So that's, that's quite a lot for a car. Um, I did get a 7 into 4 pin adapter on eBay and the whole intention of reason for doing this is for this little trailer here. So twice a season I do go out and rent an aerator. Uh, I do some lawn renovation at the beginning of the summer uh, just for the old Kentucky bluegrass uh, there. So uh, I did want a trailer hitch. Now you can go with the aftermarket $400 piece of kit uh, but it's it's not warranted through Tesla it doesn't have any of the computer upgrades uh, or you know the communication um, what else I think the wiring doesn't come with it so you have to sort of tap into wiring but uh, yeah it's, yeah for 400 bucks yeah you could do that but I decided to pay uh, three times that to uh, get the Tesla do it 
and just for the, the the peace of mind I think it is now seeing as they installed it on their car if anything goes wrong it's their fault and I like that uh, that thought so oh while we're back here I don't know anyone that's in British Columbia knows that you have to have this little decal here to uh, drive in the HOV lane and what I did is I went to a uh, private sticker maker guy and this here is about I don't know, three quarters the size of the other one. The other one's huge. And what you do in British Columbia, you'll see guys that actually stick it to their their paint or they stick it to the window or they have it. Nah, it's just horrible, just nasty. So what I did is that I went to the dollar store and I got myself a tray. Just a plastic tray like that. And I cut it so that it was... Um, it was wide enough to screw into these two here, so it's shaped, it's like a big one like that, and then it tapers down just so this little guy uh, sticker. So I, I was running about two and a half years without having an HOV sticker, and I just thought that's playing Russian roulette, but I'm sure that every uh, traffic copper in BC knows that Tesla is fully electric. I mean, nowadays they allow, you know, you take a look at the list of allowable vehicles in HOV lanes and it's these, you know, BMWs that have, you know, a one kilowatt hour battery and that now allows them to go in the HOV lane. So it's a bunch of, uh, a bunch of bullshit there. Anyway, so I wanted to do also an update on the, uh, the wheels. Now this is done about two months ago, a month and a half ago now. And they actually look, all of them, look really good I have I don't think I have to do any touch-up anywhere no they are holding up so my next video is going to be getting rid of those silver silver rims silver rims that are showing and uh, yeah no they're, they're all looking really good and so is the uh, pillar delete looking pretty good yeah, even the the, spark, the part that I thought I would go nuts about in the sun, it's actually baked in there and it stretched it out a little bit. I did go ahead and do the back of the mirrors, uh, but I, oh man, I did such a, a crappy job on it that I think I had it for two days. It shrunk. You could see it. Uh, that Chris guy at CK Wraps, uh, you know, good for you for doing it, but... I tried doing it the way you told me to do it, and I failed miserably. Uh, but anyway, so let's uh, let's go put that uh, trailer hitch on and see what it looks like. All right, so this is the uh, the hitch that I had. As you can tell, it's all rusted up and uh, looks like crap. But this uh, was on the woman I lived with's BMW. Uh, she used it to. Uh, well, I don't think she ever towed anything. No, it was just with that vehicle. I guess when she got it. Uh, yeah, so it's just gonna slide in. I mean, everyone knows how to put in a trailer hitch. There's a bolt that goes across. So looking at that, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't actually look that bad. It, uh, it's enough to get a shin in a parking lot. And uh, in some states and provinces, it's actually illegal to have a tow hitch if you're not towing something. So if you're just mucking about, with a tow hitch on, I, I, in some provinces and some states, you can actually get ticketed for it. It's a breach of the Motor Vehicle Act. All right, so let's hook that up to that. Let's see how this goes. All right. So, put it in reverse. Oh, I can tell you, you can see right there, there's the uh, toe ball. So this could be very much like a video game. Move over dune buggy or whatever it's called. Ding, 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 ding. Look at that. I think. Boom! Look at that! That's pure sex right there. Let's see how I did. Oh yeah, look at that. Magic. Well, let's go for a drive. So as soon as I plugged in the trailer, 
A little blue trailer light came up here. It's blue. I don't know if blue is good. Let's see if it changes. It doesn't change from blue. But what I do want to do is I do want to check out the the lights to make sure they are working. Yes and yes. And of course that's working. So. I'm wondering if a bulb if a bulb wasn't working. I wonder if that would change color to red or I'll have to read the manual. All right. So it appears all is well, but then again, it's like a 100 pound trailer, so it's not, uh, not going to cause any issues or concerns. Uh, now, I did hear that you can't do uh, autopilot, so the little steering wheel isn't in there. So, can I? Oh, I can put on cruise control. Well, that's good, but not. Stopping. Okay, yeah. All that stuff still works. All right. Let's uh, let's drive around a bit. All right. Something uh, happened here. So here you can see my trailer light is blue. If I well, there's something ahead of me. If I put on the brakes a little bit, you can see it turns to red. And when I accelerate. turns back to blue. If I turn the right indicator on, it's fine. If I turn the left indicator on, it turns red. And that is because my left trailer light assembly is, is a bit bodged, is a bit messed up. It, it sort of works sometimes. So there it turned red because I was on the brakes or the Redrive braking going straight, it's going to turn to blue again right there. But if I put on my brakes, red. All right, so I think I need to uh, replace that back left trailer assembly. All right, forward. So I just pulled over here to see how level the trailer is compared to the car, I think I need to invert my hitch. Because if that was a trailer, um, like a travel trailer, a small 20-footer under 3,000 pounds, that would be sitting too far down on the tongue. So I think I may have to invert the trailer hitch there to uh, let it sit a little... Uh, yeah, a little more level. All right, let's keep booting around. The way that I ordered this is that I went on to the Tesla webpage and I logged in under my account and uh, found it, clicked on it, buy it now, entered the visa number. And then you got an email confirmation that, uh, stating that it'll be delivered to your uh, service center and they'll give you an email. About uh, five weeks later, I got an email from uh, the Tesla service center in Vancouver and they said, hey, your trailer hitch has arrived and we're going to give you an uh, appointment for, and it was about two weeks, about 10 days in advance. So basically they booked it and they said, this is it. And if you didn't want it, you had to contact them to try to change your appointment but it seemed to work for me it was on my days off so of course i said yes this is what i want so it's quite a simple process just drive it out there once i dropped it off it only took about i'm gonna say an hour and 15 minutes while i was there now don't forget during these times of the plague uh they of course want uh, most people want you in and out of their facility asap just you know out and about so what I did is I went for uh, Denny's for breakfast, and by the time I had finished my uh, breakfast, 
the car was ready, so I just walked down. They are willing to give me an Uber credit, but I don't use Uber or Lyft yet uh, because it's a new thing in Vancouver, and uh, I just haven't done it. Yeah, there you go. So, you want one, order one. Well, there you have it. Uh, it's up to you whether it's the right purchase choice for you or not. Uh, but for me, I definitely wanted the Tesla version versus the, uh, uh, the aftermarket, just for the reason that it's their piece of kit. And while I'm in the backyard, A, take a look at this absolutely stunning, beautiful Kentucky bluegrass. And here we are at the end of October, and this is going to go dormant soon, and I'm not going to be able to do but anything with it. Uh, but here I wanted to show you, see these marks up my pillar? You know those are the, and I think you can see here, I don't know if any of you are like David Attenborough, but there is a pad, and there are fingers, or claws, yes. So uh, there is a mother black bear living out in, well, mother nature there. And she has three little cubs and she climbs up this post to try and get to the bird feeders. Uh, but she fails every time because they're just outside her reach. Uh, yeah, so seeing it's a 400 pound fat bastard, uh, she is breaking my, my pillar. But here, yeah, you can see the claw marks climbing up oh there's a goodie well there you go that's what happens when you live in uh, well, you know, British Columbia Canada anyway you guys take care and I hope to hear from you soon cheers bye